Kill my mother? Kill my father? My entire family? Yeah. I challenge him to a duel. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Angela and welcome to the third Guys and Dolls video blog. This video blog is going to be week three of rehearsal with Wednesday being blocking and music and Friday being just blocking up by the bio lab. Our two interviews this week are from Niccolo and Hunter and I think that's it. So I really hope everyone enjoys and I will see you next week. Bye. Like with your hands to distract them, turn that into a cane and then they don't even see oh, what so I walk past it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, no, can we do that again? Nope. So the mission band comes across the front of the stage playing, 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 and Nathan points at Sarah at the very end of the line and says, I want you to take this girl to come back. The stage is being set. So mission band, come up here, including Sarah. You're out every day trying. Maybe you should try the nighttime. How's that? Once I like you to read, he'll give you a great deal of comfort. Now, when you're taking these pamphlets from her, this is when you can sort of let us all know. You me up No, but you see what you're doing. You see what you're doing. You can take the pamphlets, or you can take the pamphlets from here. Ah, Mr. Schwab. Our pamphlets, I like you to read. They'll give you a good deal of comfort. Thank you. And we're holding a midnight prayer on Thursday, which I'm sure you'll wish to attend. I'm sure. In right away. So he's pulled a few tricks on you. He's done the whole siding up next to you. He's done the whole I'm standing behind you. He's done all these little <laughs> things. So now it's like when you say, and what's my end of the bargain, maybe you step a little closer to him on that. Okay. And what's my end of the bargain? Have dinner with me. Step even closer to her on that. <laughs> Have dinner with me. Am I supposed to take a step now? That would be funny, but no. <laughs> El Café Cubana in Havana. El Café Cubana? Havana? <laughs> Where do you want to eat? Howard Johnson's? Havana? Now that's Why a not? very big deal. You can't imagine that he's actually going to pick you up tomorrow and take you to Havana. Havana? Yes, but it is. <laughs> that over time. I have mean things to say to you. Come to the mission, one and all, except guys. I hate guys. I don't hate anybody. Except me. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I wonder what this guy will be like. He will not be a gambler. I'm interested in what he will be. Romanticizing something, and it's realizing Sarah Brown is a very lonely person. She's got her father, she's got a mission, she's got a job to do, but she really doesn't have that one part of her heart that's been missing all these years. And the song is what kind of brings that out. And at the end of this song, where you, you put your entire heart out there, you realize there is somebody else <laughs> who knows the words to that song. And you do turn to him, and you just kind of look at him very curiously, but there is something else behind your eyes. There's something else going on. And he takes that step toward you again. But you don't move this time. He's going to kiss you. He's going to kiss you long, and he's going to kiss you hard. But he is. Not now. You don't have to worry about it now. And then as soon as the kiss is over, he's the one who's going to break it. He's going to step back and look at you. And you're just going to be fascinated. And then you're going to take a step toward him and smack him, right? Is that what happens? Yeah. Do it. But you're, on your face should still be that whole look at him with this longing in your eyes until you get to around here. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I can creep everybody out so easily. I won't hit you, though. There's a kiss. There's a break. There's a I love you, I love you, I love you. Smack! Then you have your beautiful line comfortable. Your parents are like, what the hell are they doing up there? <laughs> Connor takes a step backwards, very suave. You love him, you take a step towards him. You think that you love him. <laughs> I'm narrating again. <laughs> This year's production of Guys and Dolls, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of hard work, you know, there's a lot of good people involved, and, uh, you know, uh, I, I'm Hunter Lydon, I play Lieutenant Brannigan.
and he's a, he's a tough cop, you know. It's, you know, it's really, it's really a waltz what happens on stage, you know. It's, uh, it's, you know, he comes on, everyone runs away, you know. He's, he's a pretty scary guy, and you wouldn't want to mess with him. Uh, he, he doesn't have a gun, no, um, so he's not that scary, I guess, but, you know, I, I lay down the law, and people listen, and that's, that's really the most important part, you know, and I wish it was not like that in real life, that I'd come on and people listen, but it just doesn't happen that way. It just doesn't always happen like you want to do it. I'll have to go. We're this, after today's rehearsal, we'll have the first half of Act One completely blocked, which is a lovely thing. Good. You have to say this in a completely, I don't want you to be completely gross, but he is kind of running a shy. For the grand finale of our Around the World Review, <laughs> we take you down to the farm with our star, Miss Adelaide and the Hotbox Farmerettes. And on the word Farmerettes, <laughs> we can pull. You go, you go over and get a drink of water. Oh. You have to do a, 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 a movement on farmer <laughs> rights. The magician disappears. Yes. <laughs> you can pull a David Copperfield. About you. Now we'll do it. Oh, well, I can. Oh. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, I'm Nicola Pizarro, and I'm Benny South Street. You what should I say? What should I do? Cause I I'm so in love with you. Woo! Don't mess around with the green color. Don't wanna, don't wanna, don't wanna, wanna, wanna feel ya. Woo! Just be that, be that. No one wants to be defeated. Do it not monkey, do it not right. It doesn't matter who's wrong or right, just beat it. Are you? Have you? Nathan, this is the kind of psychology that tells you why girls do certain kinds of things. Oh, so would it tell you what kind of a doll would go for a certain kind of guy, which you wouldn't think she would do so? What do you mean? Yeah, they're so playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Are you serious? Oh, uh, yeah, I suck at something. Snatch steal! <laughs> Stealing your genie-like creature. <laughs> at what expense, though? You gain a thousand life points per turn. But it won't matter, because I summon Marauding Captain. I know what he does. He allows me to summon another sport monster. More people far less young than the people who play Magic the Gathering. Well, but I have some Magic the Gathering cards at home if you'd ever like to get a game going. You want to play Dungeons and Dragons? You, I'm all dated up tomorrow with side max, and he breaks it on account of your dopey crap game. Honestly, Adelaide, I pity you. Uh, Adelaide, look at me! I'm, I'm on my knees! Oh, get up and remind me of your crap game! Look, you're getting upset! Ah. You and I were gonna be alright. After all, we love each other and we're gonna get married! I don't believe you anymore! But it's true! You'll feel better tomorrow. Come on, cheer up, honey! Maybe he'll come back through the door. No one! No, no. no. So when you get to this, it says here, I'm really curious, what else can this book teach me about myself? You can manage to get your body to do one thing while your voice is doing something else. You're creating this nice dichotomy that really draws in the audience. A person <coughs> can develop a cough. <coughs> Trouble is, if she's getting a kind of her name for herself with her name ain't tears. A person can develop a cough. Church bells off stage, right? That's where we keep the church bells. Okay. You can hear them over And she can hear church bells chime. The compartment is air conditioned. And the mood sublime. Then they joke at Saratoga for the 14th time. A person can develop really powerful notes to sing. It's it's actually I'm desperate to get married because my life is at a point where I never thought I would be at this age unmarried. You know, and it's it's not just a comedic funny song about psychosomatic symptoms of illness. It's sick in love. And it's the literal, I'm so sick, my body is sick because this is how in love I am. So this lack of community property is really genuinely good. That cold! Achoo! Oh, right. He's walking. That was awful. You're literally right behind them. Your body turns, your head just not. Good. And then when you all get to this point, it's really, it looks like it's you turn, then you turn, then you turn. This last yeah. thing.